I last night I watched 1940s The Invisible Man Returns, the official sequel to the 1933 classic that starred Claude Rains. In this version, the uh, original scientist has long since died, but his brother is also a gifted scientist and friends with Jeffrey Radcliffe, the owner of a, a, a coal mine. Radcliffe has been accused of murdering his brother and is on death row, about to be hanged. Uh, Frank Griffin goes to visit him, and uh, later on, when the guards come and get him, they discover Radcliffe has disappeared. He has, in fact, been given the invisibility formula by Griffin, who is then desperately working to try and uh, find the antidote uh, in time before uh, Radcliffe succumbs to madness and megalomania, uh, whilst also trying to solve the mystery of who really killed uh, Jeffrey's brother Michael and uh, resolve the manhunt that's going on all over the country. It's a surprisingly modern picture for a film that is built itself in the opening titles as the sequel to The Invisible Man. It pushes the story in an interesting new area. We have another Griffin who's a, a biochemist, but who is much more uh, reasonable and not evil. <laughs> Um, the Invisible Man himself is played by no less than Vincent Price, his first leading role, although he's only seen actually on screen at the end of the movie. Um, but his vo vocal performance carries the whole picture as he uh, investigates the mystery and goes on the run and starts questioning people, even pretending to be a ghost at one point and frightening someone into fainting. Uh, the visual effects are extremely strong. We have the, the visual again of the, the bandaged head with the dark glasses. Overall, it's a surprisingly strong film, um, very well plotted and well acted. Cedric Hardwick is, is top billed as the uh, inheritor of the mine in Sir Geoffrey's absence and um, turns out to be the villain of the piece and a surprisingly physical performance for a Shakespearean stage actor. Um, overall, it's a, a very impressive and an entertaining and enjoyable film, um, much more so than a lot of the other uh, later universal horror pictures. This is a, a solid sci-fi action-adventure mystery, albeit one made uh, in 1940 when uh, many of the modern tropes of cinema were still either in their infancy or not even considered. Um, I would certainly recommend it to those interested in the history of sci-fi movies and even generally it's a pretty good film and worth your time.